This is Ben with MakeUseOf.com. If you're tired of your Android phone's default ringtone or notification sound, I'm going to show you today how to set a custom ringtone in Android. Now to do this, you're going to need to get some custom tones on your device. Uh, it probably comes with some stock sound effects, but we don't want to use those. We want to use a much better and cooler, unique sound effect. So the way that I'm going to recommend that you do that is through an app called Zedge. Zedge is a free app that you can download on your Android phone, and it provides access to a big library of ringtones, notification sounds, wallpapers, and more. So head to the Play Store and install Zedge. Again, it's free. Once you've done that, we can pop open the Zedge app. Now, once we're inside, you'll probably see some pop-ups about whatever's new. Um, we don't care about that. What we want to do is we want to search for something to set as our ringtone. So when you open up Zedge Search, you'll see all sorts of stuff. Um, you can see stuff I've searched for here, mainly through uh, different video games. So let's look for uh, a new ringtone. So I am playing a game called Celeste right now. So let's search for Celeste. Um, when we see that, you will see uh, how many ringtones, uh, notifications, and wallpapers are all available. Um, Zedge's search, unfortunately, is not uh, quite as useful as it used to be. If you search for multiple words, it will include all of them. Um, so if you search for like Star Wars, Darth Vader, or something, um, it's going to pick up it's going to search for star and search for wars and everything else individually. So if you don't find what you're looking for, uh, do try to phrase it in a different way on Zedge. Um, because the stuff that people um, upload to Zedge is all, it's all people uploading it. So it's not really always uh, named correctly or anything like that. So uh, you can tap on the play button to listen to the track um, to make sure it's what you want. Again, because people upload this stuff themselves, sometimes you'll find a track that uh, cuts off early or it's really a quiet volume or low quality or something um, tap on it and if you want to download it um, you can you can tap on the three dot button in the corner and choose download and that is going to uh, add it onto your uh, Android file system which we'll talk about in a minute um, but Zedge actually has a quick shortcut that allows you to set a ringtone uh, right from the app so if you tap on set um, you can choose set ringtone or even set contact ringtone if you want to. Um, just tap on set ringtone and then boom, uh, you'll have to give it permission first. I've already done that. Um, it'll set it as your ringtone. It's really as easy as that. Um, if you don't want to use Zedge or if you want to use a ringtone that you've made yourself, um, maybe you have some kind of MP3 file on your computer, um, you can definitely use that too. So um, you'll need to get that file on your phone either through something like Bluetooth or Push Bullet, or by connecting your phone to your computer or using a USB cable and then putting the file on your phone. Uh, once you've done that, you will need a, a file manager app for Android. Um, I'm going to be using Solid Explorer, which is not free. Um, if you need a free app, I recommend Astro File Manager. Um, ES File Explorer is a popular choice, but it's loaded with ads and a bunch of nonsense, so I don't recommend that. So your File Explorer app will look a little bit different than this, but it's, this, it's a similar idea. So inside your phone, um, if you have put a file on it, it's going to be in a different folder uh, depending on where you got it from. So um, your download folder, which you see here, will contain things if you've downloaded from a website or something. Um, if you have imported something via Bluetooth, you'll see it in the Bluetooth folder and so on. Um, if you're connecting your phone with a USB cable to your computer, you can put the file anywhere you want. Um, you should have a folder called ringtones. So if you're dropping a file in from your PC, you just put it right in the ringtones folder. Uh, in my case, just to illustrate, I'm going to go into the Zedge folder, and you see here all of these sounds that I've, no I've downloaded from Zedge. Now, uh, a year or two ago, I noticed that when I use Zedge, when I downloaded a new ringtone or a notification sound, um, my phone would pick it up automatically in the settings menu that we're about to walk through. Uh, however, that doesn't seem to be the case anymore, so if you download something from Zedge, and you don't set it as your ringtone right away, uh, you may have to go through and manually move it over, and this is how you do that. So open up the Zedge folder, and then open up uh, Notification or Ringtone. We'll do Ringtone here. Uh, find the file that you want to copy over. We'll just grab one of these. Again, this will depend on the app that you're using, but in general, you can long press on it to bring up a menu, and then choose the Copy button. And then in another uh, panel on your file manager, if you have it, open up your phone's uh, Ringtones folder, and then just long press and paste, and then it'll be in there, and your phone can pick it up. Um, that's the pretty much all you have to do, and your phone will recognize it. Again, if you want to use a, a text tone or a notification sound for a certain app, put it in the notifications folder instead of the uh, ringtones folder. Now that you've done that, the last step is to actually go into your phone's menu and set the notification or ringtone. So to do that, go ahead and open up settings. 
And then again, I'm using Android Pie, uh, which is new, so your phone might look a little bit different. We're going to go to the Sound tab. It might be Sounds in Display or Sounds in Notifications or something for you. Uh, scroll down and you will see Phone Ringtone. You'll see that it's the Celeste track that we downloaded just a minute ago. Tap on that and you will be able to scroll through and see everything um, that you've ever put in that Ringtones folder. So again, hopefully you'll see stuff in there that you've downloaded from Zedge. If not, you'll need to move it over. So um, scroll through and you'll be able to tap on anything you want to do. What we'll is tap one here? You'll hear a preview of it. Once you tap it, you can click save and now it's set as your ringtone. Uh, it's the same thing for notification sounds. So just tap on default notification sound and you can go through that and, and select notification sound, listen to it, make sure it's right, and then hit the save button. So that's really all you need to set a custom ringtone on Android. Uh, so just remember the quick steps. You need to either get a sound file from Zedge or from your computer put onto your phone. Uh, and then move it into the proper folder, the ringtones or notifications folder on your phone using a file manager app like Astro or Solid Explorer. And then go into your phone's sound settings, choose ringtone or notification sound, and you'll be able to choose it from there. So really, uh, it's really not that hard. It's much more difficult on an iPhone, and uh, you're really only limited by your creativity with the type of uh, ringtones and sounds you want to make. That's all for this tutorial. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to Make Use Of's YouTube channel. Uh, we post tutorials like this along with uh, reviews of some new tech and other cool stuff like that. So you don't want to miss it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.